fact, across the whole retail industry, there's expected to be a loss of $95 billion dollars because of organized crime. So this isn't just your everyday shoplifters coming in and and taking a few things. Um, There are organized rings out there that um, that operate not only in stores. I mean, they're just they're just bold and brazen about going in and taking what they want. And because of the risk associated um, with going after them, the employees of the companies are just told to stand by and let them go. If they make it to the parking lot, they're pretty much scot free. I mean, I talked to the manager of of our local Lowe's store and, um, you know, he said that, that they've identified people who regularly come in every single week and they st- they know exactly what they're doing. Um, you know, they take, they go right below the limit of what they can be persecuted for. They've called the police. They're, you know, they're investig they're, they say they're investigating it, but he's like, his hands are tied. He can do nothing about it. And that's happening on a very large scale. Um, across the country. So I don't know, what do we do? Maybe Congress could pass a law against stealing, make it illegal to steal things that aren't yours. Oh, wouldn't that be brilliant? That would be brilliant. (laughs) But you know what? I think we already have some of those laws on the book books. And, you know, making laws doesn't stop criminals from committing crimes. They're (laughs) that's why they're criminals is because they don't follow the law. Right. You know, so, um, you know, it's just as ludicrous as thinking that you can um, pass gun laws um, and and take guns away from from people to keep to reduce gun violence. Criminals are going to break the law. That's just what they are by nature. No law that Congress passes is going to change the way that someone operates. 